Hello, welcome to the first revision video for High Tons Tool AQA GCS EPE, and this one's going to focus on the skeletal system. Now, there are a number of key areas that you need to know regarding the skeletal system. First one being the locations of the main bones within the body. Then we need to look at how the skeletal system works to provide the human body with the ability to compete in a range of different sports. So the specification, first of all, if we look at the locations of the different bones, firstly, the head is our cranium, we've got the neck and spine which is the vertebrae, we've got the shoulder which involves our scapula, the upper arm is the humerus, we've got our chest which involves the ribs and then the sternum, in, in our arms we've got humerus which I said, we've got the radius along the outside and then the ulna which is underneath, um, in and around the hip we've got the pelvis and our femur, our femur is the bone at the top of our leg, um, the knee is known as the patella and then in the lower leg we have got our tibia and fibula. In and around the ankle you need to obviously know that there is a talus bone which is on the side of our ankle. Moving on we need to look at the skeletal system of how it works in order to provide uh, us with the opportunity to play sport and the first one of these is support so the body um, the skeletal system the spine provides a support and a, and a structural shape for us to be able to play sport then we're looking at protection so bones like the cranium and the ribs um, protect vital organs within the body then the skeletal system is jointed which allows us to have movement so for example the knee joint hip joint elbow wrist etc all are designed as such to be able uh, to do movement and then finally in the bones there are a lot of key minerals that are stored within them um, so those are the main elements along with blood cell production which is the final um function of the skeleton and the blood cells are produced in the bone marrow within the long bones such as the femur and the tibia in the human body. Hopefully this helps and um, please stay tuned for more future videos. Signing off.